Hello, and welcome to another Tuesday Tech Tip with Lawler Therapy Support Services. Today, we are looking at Office Suite. What is Office Suite? Well, let me tell you, Office Suite is a handy-dandy little app to make sure that you don't have to carry around paperwork crumpled up in the bottom of your bag or purse anymore. We can manage signatures and PDFs and dated documents all from this one app. So let's get started. Opening up the app, we can see that there's um, a lot of things to click on, but let's scroll down a little bit here to where the section is labeled add cloud so what this means is if you work within one of these clouds dropbox google drive onedrive box uh web dev or icloud drive which is actually up at the top it's kind of a default Uh, if you work within any of these documents or not documents but uh, clouds you can manage all your documents on your computer and your phone or ipad or or android or whatever so Let's go ahead and set this up. So in my Google Drive, I have some documents that I need signed and I managed them on my computer and created them there and all that kind of stuff. And I threw them in my Google Drive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you what you would do to set this up. So I'm going to add the particular account and allow, now off camera, I put in my password there. Okay, so now I've added Google Drive. So up here, I under the uh, browse heading there, I can see that my Google Drive folder is listed. So I'm going to tap on that. And I know that I happen to have a folder called my drive. And inside that is my signature page. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that bad boy. And lo and behold, there's a blank signature page here. So here's some text. If you think it's awesome, please sign the end date below. Okay, we'll do that. So All we have to do on this PDF, make sure it's a PDF, it's not gonna work on a document. I'm gonna tap on that, single tap. I'm gonna hit the home button at the top there. uh, And I'm gonna hit sign. Okay, so now I have the quick sign option, add date, free text, or free draw. All right, so let's start with free text to throw in the name option here. So I'm gonna hit free text, and then I'm gonna tap where I want the text to go, and bill tech guy oh i spelled it wrong we'll just fix that all right cool so you can change the size and whatever and font and blah 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 like you can figure that out right cool so i hit done now signature we can do one of two ways if i hit quick sign it's going to turn my phone sideways so from quick sign and bill tech guy i can do a quick little sync signature there just with my finger that's not really what I want. Just hit clear and do it again. Oh, that's way better. Then hit done. And I will just drag this down to where I want. I can change the size and you can change the thickness and you can change the color. Purple's a nice, no it's not. Black, black's cool. All right, cool. So when you're done with that, you can hit done. All right. Now, um, I haven't left this document yet. So once you leave the document and it saves, you can no longer edit that signature or any of the other content that we add during this, um, during this session. But what I am going to do, I'm just going to hit delete and I'm going to show you the other way you can do a signature. If you don't want to use that quick signature method, because that will actually save the signature, uh, which is fine if you're using it for your personal use, but if you're getting other people to sign on your phone, you'd have to delete their signature and that kind of thing. So uh, I'll show you free draw. So a free draw basically is um, kind of like what we just did. So I've just blown up to the signature line here. Bill, tech guy. And there it is. And the same thing, we can change the color and what have you. All right. So that's free draw. All right. So I'll hit done. Boom. And then lastly, date. I bet you guys got this figured out. Watch this. I'm going to hit date. And I tap where I want the date to go and it auto inputs the date. Now, let's say we have to backdate this for whatever reason, you can just do that. And there is your date, so hit done. So as I said before, all of these items, until I exit and save, I can still edit these items, right? As soon as I hit done, bloop, 
and back out of here and save. It's uploading the file to the interwebs. And now this document is permanently etched. So if I head back to signature page, we can see that all of the content that we just made is there. But now it is no, I cannot tap on it. I'm just going crazy here trying to tap on it to make it go. It's just messing with everything, but it won't let me edit. So those things are now permanently part of that document, okay? Now I can still add to it. So if I go back to sign, I could still do some free draw. You get it. I can still do some free draw. I don't. I was trying to do a happy face, but for some reason it didn't like the little dots. There we go. So we can still edit that. And we can still get rid of that. But that stuff there stays permanent. Okay, cool. So we get how that works. All right, so now let's look at sharing this thing. It's wicked easy. Watch this, all right? So we're gonna back out of here. Save it, of course. Okay, so. You see my title there, it says signature page.pdf. So to the right of that, there's those three dots, which I think are called ellipses. I'm not sure. You click on the three dots or you tap on the three dots. All right, so you get all these standard options, all right, including delete and starring it and all that kind of thing. But right there where you see kind of the, the, the arrow head pointing to the left or the incomplete triangle with the circles right in the middle of the bottom there, I gotta tap there and it gives me these options. So I can email the document, I can zip and email the document, or I can open in another app. So if I was just gonna use the Apple app on my phone here, the Apple Mail app, I would just hit email document and that would open up Apple Mail. Um, but because I use a different mail program, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'll just go open in another app and whatever app I choose, it's just gonna take that PDF and paste it into, into the app. So I'm gonna use Spark, which is my email program. And I will send this to Angie. And uh, here we go. Signature page. Here you are. All right, so we can see at the bottom of the email, there is the, uh, the document that we, here, let's tap on that. We can just preview it. So that's the document that we were just working on. And I could send that off to Angie. And that document is done and shared. No trees were killed. No crumpled up mess was presented to the client. It's nice and clean and uh, professional. So anyway, a really quick video today just to show you how awesome Office Suite is. Now that's not a free app. I think I ended up paying 20 bucks for it for the iPhone and the iPad. Uh, but believe me, it is way better than uh, the jumbled up binders and stuff that I was carrying around before. So anyway, this has been your technology trainer exploring Office Suite today. Now remember, Lawler Therapy Support Services has a fantastic technology training division. If you or your client could benefit from some technology training, give us a call. We'll see what we can help you out with. Have a great day.